Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, my name is Sen. I do sewing tutorials, fashion illustration, and a bit of travel vlogs. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on a new video. Today's video, gagawa tayo ng ruffles. So I have six gathering techniques kung paano gumawa ng ruffles. So we have hand base, machine base, gather as you saw, elastic, zigzag and pull string, and using ruffler foot or gathering foot. So let's get started! The first gathering technique is hand based. This is my favorite brand ng Karayom. Pony ang kanyang brand name. Sa pag hand based, make sure na pantay-pantay ang yung laki ng tahe para maging equal yung distribution ng gathering kapag hinila na natin yung thread. After basting, hihilain lang natin yung thread or yung fabric para mag cutter siya. And that's it. Ganun na siya kadali. Ito yung portable machine na ginagamit ko. The next technique is machine paste. So adjust lang natin yung length ng stitch. Importante na why, mas wider yung kailangan natin length ng stitch. Mas madaling natin hilain mamaya ang thread. Tatahiin natin siya ulit mga 2 eighths away from the first stitch na ginawa natin. Dalawang stitches ang ginawa natin para pag bumigay yung first thread at least may backup tayong natahe. So ayan, hilain lang natin yung top thread not the bobbin thread. And that's it. We're done. Next is gather as you saw. So ang gagawin mo lang, tutuutiin mo siya ng pakonti-konti habang pinapasok mo siya dun sa foot. So, Pihira kong gamitin ang technique na ito. But last time I used this is a petticoat. And that's it. Ganun lang siya kadali. Next is elastic. So gagamit tayo ng elastic or garter. Then, ayan. Kakat ko lang siya. Halos half lang ng size ng fabric. Ipipin ko muna yung magkabila ang dulo ng garter or ng elastic. Then saka ko siya tatahiin. I'll be using zigzag na tahi. So, isa-set up ko muna siya. Habang tinatahi mo siya, dapat hinahatak mo rin yung garter. So, ayan, hinahatak ko siya. And that's it. Ganun lang siya kabilis. Pero, etong bihira ko itong gamitin. Madalas nakikita to sa mga dulo ng sleeves or ng pants. Next is zigzag and pull string. So zigzag, gagamit tayo ng zigzag stitch. And then, gumawa, gumamit lang ako ng string dito or ng 4 threads na sinulid. So make sure na hindi nyo tatahiin yung string. So nasa pagitan lang siya nung zigzag na ginagawa nyo. And then after that, hihilain nyo lang yung string, magkabila ang string. So yan, magagather na siya. So, ganyan lang siya kadali. Then, distribute nyo lang equally yung gathering. That's it. The last technique is gathering food. So, gagamit tayo ng special kind of presser food na tiyatawag na ruffler or gathering food. So, eto gagamitin ko yung high speed machine ko. Yung gathering food is my spring siya sa likod. So, dyan mong i-adjust kung gano'ng karaming gathering ang gusto mong gawin sa ruffles. And that's it. We're done. That's our six gathering techniques kung paano gumawa ng ruffles. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.